to me, creativity is having the capacity to move out of the way and allow some force, allow some energy, allow something to be brought to light. Taking something that's existed and seeing it in a different way. Dr. Paula Bloom is a clinical psychologist who was born in Chicago and educated at Florida's Nova Southeastern University. I was looking at my senior yearbook and people said, you'll be such a good psychologist one day. I feel very grateful to have found my calling from a very young age. A child of South American immigrants, Dr. Paula Bloom is the first person in her immediate family to be born in the United States. Having immigrant parents, I always had this sort of dual role in life of being sort of an observer of the culture and also being a participant in the culture. And so from a very young age, I had this sense that there are things that influence who we are beyond just who we're born to be. She has a private practice in Atlanta where she's lived with her husband and two children for the past 12 years. Dr. Bloom says she never fit the stereotype of a traditional therapist. The best piece of advice that I ever got was from a supervisor of mine. She said, stop trying to be a psychologist, start being Paula. The old school psychology concept was nobody knows anything about you, right? You're just a blank slave, people project their stuff onto you, you're like a walking ink blot, you know, like the Rorschach. I tried to do that. I tried to be more withholding in my emotions. I tried to not give any advice or feedback. Um, it just didn't work. So that advice of stop trying to be a psychologist and just be Paula, I've become more successful as I've been more and more authentic and willing and willing to just fully show up as me. I mean, I have a dimmer switch that I take with me places as far as cranking it up, cranking it down. Dr. Paula says therapy is an art, adding she is most effective when she can add a dash of creativity to her clinical expertise. The art of therapy is understanding the lens by which that person sees the world and crafting the message so that that person can hear it. The mind is a magnifying glass. Whatever you focus on gets bigger. Where do you want to focus the magnifying glass? We all are storytellers. The problem is if you don't realize you're one. So then, like, the worst thing you can do is believe everything you think. And so it's really key for people to know what is the story that they're telling themselves so that then they can say, is this the one I keep want, that I want to keep telling myself? With a fluency in both English and Spanish, she often does TV appearances and speaking engagements in both languages. Anorexia en bebés en lactantes? Sí, mira, uno que puede tener problemas de la digestión, puede tener problemas de comer. Como un desorden digestivo. Eso es muy diferente. Anorexia tiene mucho que ver con cómo la persona se ve. Paula Bloom's first book, Why Does He Do That? Why Does She Do That? will be released in early April 2012. People are still very confused and very perplexed by relationships. Co-authored by Dr. Reef Kareem, a well-known Los Angeles psychiatrist, Drs. Bloom and Kareem offer a light-hearted look at dating and relationships in our digital age. We've never met. We don't know each other. So it's very much a parallel like to the book in the sense of we've had to get to know each other as we're writing this book. A lot of the focus isn't just on the opposite sex, it's on yourself and knowing yourself well enough so that you can figure out what's a good fit for you. You're more likely to get what you want if you ask for it. And for many women, the answer to why does she do that, if I were to answer it in one sentence, is because she feels less than and she's scared you're going to find out. <laughs> That's a lot of why young women do what they do. Here's what Dr. Paula would like readers to take away from the new book. So often we focus on what the other person is doing and ultimately in relationships so much of it is about the one thing we have control over which is ourselves knowing who you are makes it easier to ask for what you need which makes it easier to actually have the likelihood of getting it the next time he asks you what you want for your birthday don't and you say nothing don't be shocked if you get what you asked for